and happy car vlog. How's it going? <laughs> Today we are driving through Winter Garden because we have a specialist appointment for Jackson for his ears. So we're thinking that we're probably going to have to do the ear tubes. We talked a little bit about this in a home vlog, uh, but we're seeing a specialist in Winter Garden and uh, we just thought we'd have like a little fun day in Winter Garden. Yeah. We just drove through Winter Garden Village and I couldn't find, we have the camera, but I, it was sitting right here and then we drove forward and it went underneath the seat. So I have to find that. Right now I'm filming on the phone. So I missed the whole Winter Garden Village. I didn't show it to you, but if we drive back by it, I will show it to you. It was nice. It had like every restaurant you could think of. There was even a place called Just Salads. I wonder what they sell. They only serve salads. I was just talking to Tim about how I wish there was a place near us that just had salads. Because a lot of the places near yeah, like us a, are... Like a sweet tomatoes or something. No, not like a sweet tomatoes. Like, like more... Not a buffet. You know what I mean? Okay. Like they just... They make the salads for you. Yeah, and there's like a bunch of different kinds you can choose from. That's what I want. Is there ice cream there too? Is there ice cream? It says just salads. Oh no. But yeah, so anyway, we're pulling in now. We will. Oh no. So we're pulling in now and we will uh, give you a little update in just a second on what the doctor says. And if we're going to have to, I think he's going to tell us today if we have to do the ear tube. So let's go to the doctor. This is where it is. All right. Found the camera. It was under the seat. And we just finished the appointment and we do have to get ear tubes. We did it. We do have to do it. So according, like after reading all of your guys' comments, which by the way, thank you so much for leaving your comments about your experiences with ear tubes. I read every single one. It seems like it's very common. It's something that uh, happens to a lot of kids. And even talking to the doctor, he's like, yeah, this is something that we do all the time. And it's a quick, like 10 minute procedure. So that makes me feel better about it too, that they are very like well-versed. It's not like a new thing. I also thought it was interesting because I asked him about the earplugs when swimming and he's like, no, nah, you don't have to do that anymore. And then I was like, well, what about going up in the airplane? He's like, it's easier. And he's like, I was like, well, I know he's not gonna go scuba diving, but like, what about scuba diving? He goes, it's easier. I go, I want ear tubes. <laughs> like. And I guess you can get them as an adult because some of, what? Is that real? Yeah. It is real. And it's so cold today. Uh, no, not on you. You're not gonna go scuba diving, buddy. But if you see Jackson in the back in his jacket, it's so cold today. It was like- Yeah, right now it's 47. 47 degrees right now, but overnight, somebody had said, I think it was on Twitter, I read that somebody said it was like in the 20s overnight. Where, here? I, somewhere in Florida. Probably up north. I don't know, I'll have to look and see who, who said it, I can't remember. Uh -huh. But I was like, what the heck? It's We live in Florida, it's not supposed to be this cold. Right. So, it is very chilly today. So now, we've got, we did his appointment, we're gonna get the ear tubes, we're gonna get his ear infections like situated and sorted and he's not gonna have them anymore, hopefully. But we're in Winter Garden and we thought, let's like make a little day of it. Let's have some lunch out here in Winter Garden. And I found a place, I was just like Googling what are the best places to eat in Winter Garden. And I found a place that is like a hot dog. They only serve hot dogs. What? Well, not only, they have other stuff, but it's Harold's hot dogs and cold cones. They serve hot dogs and ice cream, two of my favorite things. Right? So. Yeah, those are two of my favorite things too. You love you hot dogs and ice cream? French fries. And, and french fries. Oh, they also serve french fries. Somebody said that their french fries are like the best french fries they've ever had. They're hand cut oh, french fries. Goodness gracious. So we're gonna go have, oh no, McDonald's. we're very, no, we're, we're next to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna go have hot dogs and french fries and ice cream. But so we're just driving through Winter Garden Oh, Let's I recognize go. this. What? We came to Winter Garden before. We did. If we like turn left down one of these roads over here, we end up in the downtown section where that food hall was. Yeah. And that like really old hotel with the really old elevator in it. Oh, I'm gonna link that video down below because we went in the, it's the oldest elevator. Really old, which really old, old hotel? I don't remember the name it of it. It was called like the Florida. I think it was called the Florida Hotel, but it was the oldest elevator, the oldest working elevator in the US. But I'll link that video down below. It was pretty cool. We're gonna park here in the public parking garage. Well, because there's chargers somewhere. Let's see if we can find Charger. them. We love to see EV charging, especially when it's this close to a fancy hot dog restaurant. Where is the hot dog restaurant? Right up here. Oh, okay. Also, last time that we came here, we went to this train museum and really enjoyed ourselves. Oh yeah, look at this, the flip-flop shop. Let's go buy some, they're selling more than flip-flops in here. 
lies. I hear a lot of people really like these hey dude things. Yeah. We like it. Wait, look at us. We're making our way to a hot dog place and we stopped by a flip flop store. We bought a lot of stuff though. So it's all good. This is where the, the hotel is. I think that's it right there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, okay, so this is where we went. Jackson was, um, I wanna say he was under two at the time because we took a little picture with him by the, by the there's like a wishing well over here? Somewhere. Yeah. This is what I do when I go out and run. I try and run. Here we go, we're going to Harold's Hot Dogs and Cold Cones. We're getting the hot dogs. Look at this, we're pulling up the hot dogs back there. Like I got a bra. Okay, these are all the options. Look at how those buns turned out. They look so good. Throwing brats on the grill. Look at this. What is that? I don't know. Oh, onion. Fried onions. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that sounds good. And then they have all these toppings too. I went with the classic brat. All right, here is our food. We got Jen got a chili cheese dog with some onions and some cheese. I got a brat classic style with some peppers and onions and some mustard. Then Jackson got a hot dog with some cheese and some potato sticks and some ketchup. You like the potato sticks? Yeah, and some cheese too. I like that they like buttered the buns. That's nice. They both taste very good. Oh, good. Got ketchup on my nose. Oh no! What do you think about your hot dog? Do you love it? They have one. Oh, just a Miata, a Miata passed us, bud. We've seen so many Miatas today. I bet everybody that owns a Miata lives in Winter Garden. Maybe. Miata Town. Oh no! I'm like, I got a Mexican Coke, and this table is very wobbly. We've seen more cars than just the Miata, yeah. What else can we see? It's all Lexus. Ooh. So wait, what's your favorite part about your hot dog? He asked for... Uh, ketchup, cheese, and potato sticks. Yeah, like shredded cheese, ketchup, and potato sticks. Yeah. I think this is a new, a new trend. It actually sounds really good. <laughs> it does. Is this your favorite hot dog you've ever he had? He took a bite into it and he just goes, yum. <laughs> And so here's a look at, Tim got the classic brat, so it has peppers and onions, uh, mustard, and... A little piece of... Uh, oh no, a piece a of the... Piece of napkin. The napkin. Oh, the so I will say, if you come to Harold's, Harold's, he wouldn't call it Harold's, but it's yeah. Harrell's. Uh, watch out for the mustard, because it got, we got a mustard casualty here. I mean, that Cut. might not have been from, it might have been from one of these outdoors chairs here. No, I, I don't think know it if was. I have. I well, hope I, I have mustard on me too. Are you a mustard butt? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's try one of these best french fries in town. Oh, those are, those are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you could see, I'm like, it's, you're so backlit. Oh yeah, this is much better. You gotta eat the bread too, Jackson. <laughs> he said, I said, these are the best, these french fries are really good. He goes, they really are. He's so funny, he's just like a, a little man. Yeah. Like his conversation skills are great. These are really good french fries. She yeah. hand, she like fried them right in front of us, so they're super fresh. Yeah, and we're, it's so cold out that they already got cold. Oh, are they? We're right under the Winter Garden sign as well. Oh no, Centennial Park sign. Oh, oh. Look at that. And here is oh, the uh, the fountain. I wish we had a penny for the fountain, but we don't. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of my hot dog because well, I am pretty hungry. Bread. Well, it's messy. Mm. They're definitely messy. I will say that. Well, they're good. <laughs> it's like smoky and like because they grill it over an open fire a bit greasy though oh is it from like the the, the sauteed vegetables on top mm. the bird is mm. but jackson i think the birds um are just interested in all of the stuff we have over here these hot dogs and these fries just looking i think they're just looking yeah but there are a couple of birds the little chubby boys Mm. I don't know, I'm definitely glad that we uh, tried this place, for sure. Me too, mm, really good. I think for me, the bread is like the best part. It just gives like this really nice buttery crunch. I'm towards the end of my dog, and I, um, I, I, want, I, I was thinking people might want to know about the chili because I got a chili cheese dog. The chili is a bit sweet, Okay. but because I added the diced red onions, it gives it like a little kick. Mm. So it's actually really nice with the diced red onions. I would come back here. I love these. I love these hot dogs. I think I would put hot sauce on it. Ooh, you don't even <clears throat> like hot sauce. I know. Wow. But like chili has to have a little bit of a kick. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have that. It tastes like more like the... a sweet chili. Not. It's not. It's like. 
northern chili? No, no, it's not like that. It's just, um, here, have a little bite. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. It's more of a sweet tomato base um, than it is of a spice base. And there's no beans. It's all meat. All meat. Yeah, all meat, no beans. It is very good, though. If you like a hot dog, come here. You know who needs to come here? Our friend James, who is the Hot Dogs at Disney Instagram account. Yeah. He needs to come here. Oh, yeah. It's not Disney, but it is a hot dog. I think this is worth the trip. We're just passing by this tree, and we found this. It says, post on Facebook, WG Rocks. Let me see the other side of it. It's like a love heart rock. Look at that. Oh, man, the mustard on your shirt. Well, there's a chocolate place right next door. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love me. So what are these? Chocolate covered Twinkies? Chocolate covered marshmallows? Macarons? Little robots. Little chocolate robots. Look at these little tiny cupcakes. Peanut butter cup cheesecake. I don't, I don't know. Um, oh, you're talking oh, they about... Have, they have mint chocolate <clears throat> chip. They have cookies and cream. So this place is called Way Chocolate. You got a brownie? Got some chocolate chip cookies. I probably won't eat these right now, but they look so good. And Jackson got a cake pop. You did it. Good job. And then mommy and daddy got some. I got a, a decaf mocha latte. Yeah, cafe mocha. Oh, okay, a, a decaf mocha, but you could pick between white chocolate, milk chocolate, or dark chocolate. Yeah. So you got dark chocolate. I got milk chocolate. Yeah. I'm so excited. It'll be good. Yeah, and then they had so many like they had all these cakes in the in the refrigerator in the case. They were too big. I didn't want to get like a big cake. Right? Let me show you guys. Yeah, look at that. Peanut butter explosion. Oh, I wish I had seen that. Yes. So this cake pop is like like an actual piece of cake. It's not super dense like the ones that you would get other places. But Jackson said he only likes the, the chocolate on the outside. He doesn't like the bread. Let's try this. Can I try it? Mm. It's not bread, it's cake. You don't like it? I think it's yummy. Here it's like go, angel food cake, Here's it's so soft. Try this. Ooh, mommy, mommy wants to try it too. Do you like that? You like that? I like it so much. I like it so much too. Oh, that is so good. caramel in it? Mm. That's so, so good. That is so good. He said, what if we trade daddy? What? He wants the brownie. He doesn't like the cake pop. You have to split it with mommy though. He said, what if we trade daddy? <laughs> oh yeah, chocolate covered potato chips. Should we get our Those are gummy bears, kind of buddy. Isn't that silly? Yeah, we can do that. Ginger chocolate covered ginger chocolate covered orange peel. We love a good bookstore, especially a bookstore that has banned books. Oh, 1984. The Outsiders? Why is, how did this stuff get banned? My grandma lives in Florida. Listen, if you guys have kids, I don't, I cannot recommend Just Because Enough by Matthew McConaughey. Like, I know, sounds strange, Matthew McConaughey, but like, seriously, get it, it's good. It's a good book. I love the way that they have these books sorted. The Great Gatsby, Pride and Prejudice, Winnie the Pooh, Dorian Gray, The Hounds of Baskerville, The House is Built for Eeyore, and then Edgar Allan Poe, The Mask of the Red Death. Look at this. Bike packing. I didn't even know that that was a thing. 50 hikes in Central Florida. That's fun. I was about to comment that here at Tony's Liquor, it's still Christmas. But she's taking it off right now. Looks like her Instagram is Paint Life Florida. Whoa, look at this. The fire department truck. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So, fun story about fire trucks. Old fire, some old fire trucks are REO speed wagons. I don't know what this one is. This is a Ford F750 big job. Oh, it's a 750. Wow, look at that. There's an F150 and F250. It only goes up to F550. This is a 750. Is a 750. Look at that, it says it right here, F750. It's very silly. Yeah, you could probably stand on there, yeah, but I don't. He just tried to jump. <laughs> look at this. This is a, this is a, that's a V8, buddy. Do you see the V in the eight? Oh, this is the siren right here, buddy. From a company called Sireno. 
Or do you think it's sirened? Look right here. Whoa, look at all these valves. I don't know if we can touch them. I don't think they'll move. Oh, they're moving. Oh, don't move it. Let's <laughs> stop. Let's not move. I don't know why it moved. I know. This is an old fire truck, buddy. Wow. They're pretty neat. Old, 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 old one. Looks like uh, 50, 40. A 50, 40. 50, 40. It's from the future. I'm oh. out the fire. You're putting out the fire. We're glad to have you around. I didn't even know there was a fire. Look at this tractor. You are driving. Look at this. This has got all kinds of like armor on it to protect it from getting beat up it is, as it's driving through. It says it's a Fordson. Is that a Ford? Look at that. It's all transmission. You're just sitting on top of the transmission. There's not even a seat. Look yeah. at that. That's wow. Easy. It's just engine, transmission, steering wheel. Couple of pedals. That's very silly, buddy. But this thing has all this armor because it would protect the person driving as they went through the dense orange groves. The little like grills and fairings and things like that would push the branches out of the way. What's this? Is this an old fire barrel? Like wagon? Let's see. I think it is. It's an old pump wagon. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's a friend. What is it? That's a steering wheel. It's a, it's a friend. No, this is an old engine. Some sort of pump, I think. Ah, it was a fertilizer for oh. irrigation and fertilization. Oh, don't oh that's the don't wheel chuck. It. You don't want to move that. It'll go rolling away. Let's go. Sure? There's an old, old caboose up here. I'm going in. The door's open. There's a ladder leading me up to it. I'm going in. This caboose was built in 1948 and employed by the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway Whoa. for use by the train's conductor and crew as an office, kitchen, and sleeping quarters. Whoa. Let's see if we can figure out which one's the office, which one's the kitchen. Oh, there's like a this sink in here. Kitchen? I think this is, yeah, could be. Oh, look at all the Whoa. Up there. What do you do That's up there? So Just like sitting up there? It's nice. Where do they sleep? Oh <laughs> no, is this the toilet? Look at that toilet. Oh, this is like the RV video all, all right. over again. Whoa, I don't, well, let's see what's oh, oh, buddy. Don't do that. Look at that. Don't do that. I don't want you to hurt your hands. Oh, there's a furnace in here. Look at that. Wow, it'll keep you nice and warm. It seems dangerous. You even got air conditioning. That's aftermarket. <laughs> I was going to say. Why not that door? Just the back. Back? Yeah, we can go around the outside and see what's out there. Let's go look. Do so you think this is the kitchen then? Because yeah. this is where the stove is. Yeah. And this is the no, fridge. No, I don't think that That's the fridge? Maybe. Is that oh, what it says? No. Yeah, that's the that's toilet. The thing in here. It's a toilet. <laughs> that's the toilet, buddy. Yeah, maybe this is the fridge. Kind of looks like it. Oh, yeah. it's old. It is old. I like that. I'm just going to start saying that about anything I've come across. Let's go. Ah, it's old. Found another rock. We're finding all the rocks in Winter Garden. So there's these like, like steering wheels in the back that connect to like here. What do you think this thing does? Are these the, I don't think they're the brakes. Are they the brakes? For relieving some sort of tension or something. There's one in the front that connects over here too. Huh. I don't know yeah, enough about trains. Oh yeah? You want to go back inside the train? So we, we were walking around thinking about some books that we saw. Decided to come back to the bookstore to buy them. A couple more books. Just two more books. The book was gone. There was a lady in there that was buying it right when yeah. we went back in. I'm like, I, I want to go back and grab this other book. It was, I'll put a picture of it here on the screen but it was about like a murder mystery in Ikea. Right. So it was like a traditional horror book in like a contemporary setting. It just sounded so interesting. But then also, how could you not like a town that plays the Beatles? They, yeah. I also like that they have like photo, so there's like a, like photo spots, Instagram spots, if you will, all throughout the city. And now Jackson's gonna buy some real estate, it looks like. <laughs> Come over here, buddy. And we're headed back to the car. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna head home. This was so fun. Yeah, it was a good time. I have to say, I don't know that I've experienced this level of like serotonin. I just bought so many books oh. and I'm very happy. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, there are lots of things that make me happy, but buying those books, I was like, oh, I read a book. You know what you gotta buy next? What? Cats. No. <laughs> Here's why we can't live here. Because we shop local. And if there's a local shop, we buy a lot of stuff in it. So, I mean, we're supporting local businesses. I know we are supporting local businesses, but we spent like it's a lot of money today. <laughs> All right, Winter Garden. It's been fun. Had a really good time here. 
the train museum. But now we're headed back home. So we're we're headed home, and uh, we passed by. So we didn't get bammed up when we went to the junkyard. But we're headed home, and we passed by a limousine drove by us, right? And so Jackson was like, "We should get a limo one time because." When he was really into Jeeps, we rented a Jeep for the weekend and we drove around in the Jeep and he really liked it. And so we were talking about getting, renting a car for the day, like whatever car he wanted to, to ride in. And he wants to rent a limo, which I think would be really fun. I want to rent a limo, I want to buy one. Oh, Whoa. you want to buy a limo? Buy a limo. Oh, we can't buy a limo, buddy. We used to know somebody that had a 1988 Cadillac limo that he bought. Back, way back in like the beginning of the channel, we actually, I think we filmed in that limo because yeah. we went we went to Utah and we like showed off the, we, we were hanging out with our friends and we drove the limo around Utah. But um, but anyway, ja a limo drove past us. Jackson said, we should get a limo. And I said, oh, that would be so fun to rent a limo. We have some friends that also, we're talking about renting a limo just for, I don't know why, just to he, drive he around. He's being driven around so he can fall asleep. Yeah. Like a like a birthday type thing. Yeah, we were like, for his birthday, we were gonna rent a limo and have it drive him around so he could sleep. He likes to sleep in the car. It, this sounds it, <laughs> like silly, but it was for his birthday. But anyway, and he's like a, a man, not like a child. <laughs> so it would have been, um, but. Yeah, we're friends with this child no, that likes No, it's, like, usually you would you would put, like, like put a kid to sleep in the car, but what? this is, what? Oh, 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 oh sorry. Uh, anyway, it's our friend who likes to sleep in cars, but he likes to be driven around to fall asleep. <laughs> this sounds so weird, but long story short, Jackson said we should we should get a limo, like the time that we got the Jeep, and I'll put the Jeep video down below. We, we rented a Jeep and took it. I know, yeah, he wants to buy one. one. Don't worry, we will. But long story short, I said, where do you want to take the limo? Like, where would we go in the limo? And he said we should go to the junkyard because they went to the junkyard one time so that Jackson could see cars that were bammed up because he likes to see cars that have like, that are like have, have been in accidents almost, like where they look can crushed. I, can I look at um, a junkyard right now? I don't, I don't know. See if, one. We're not going to pass by a junkyard right now, but he has a lot of Hot Wheels that are like, um, they're called something. They're called. Oh, I don't know. They're, I know they're. It's like the destruction set or something. Blindsided. Yeah, but there's speed bump. But it was the name of you know how you can buy like a five pack of Hot Wheels. Yeah. It was the name. I think it was like the destruction set or the something like that. Anyway, so he has Wrecker hot. Set maybe? He has yeah, maybe that the wreck like set. The demolition derby. The demolition, demolition derby, derby pack. pack. Maybe that's might be right, yeah. yeah. So he wants. He likes to see cars that look like those Hot Wheels. So we went to the junkyard one time, and it was like so much fun for him to see these cars. So he wants to rent a buy a limo. He wants to buy a limo, and take it to the junkyard. <laughs> I just wanted to mention something, so... It would be too long to, to be in a parking spot. Maybe. Who? The limo would be too long. Oh, Physically yeah. Physically too long. It would have to probably park across two spots. I don't know how that works. So I want to give you guys a little bit of, like, insight. Okay. Maybe it would be longer than two spots. Maybe it will be three spots. I don't know. If, where would we park it? We'd have to sideways. park it sideways, yeah. But if you guys are coming to Florida and you want to sound local, don't call it Miller's Ale House. Because we just passed by Miller's Ale House. <laughs> I was like, what does this have to do with anything? Sorry. What? The front up and take the front off. Oh, just take the front off the limousine to fit into a parking spot. Oh, yeah. Perfect plan. <laughs> okay. But we call it Ale House. We don't call it Miller's Ale House. But a lot of um, a lot of people look from the UK. The, look at that bammed up guy. Where, where? We see the bammed up, that white guy. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no, I missed it. There's two white cars, but it was not actually the Mustang on the top It was a Toyota, I think. Oh no, and it was bammed up? Yeah, really so much. And I think the front wheel came off. Oh, the, the front, front wheel, wheel came, came off. off? Oh my goodness, that sounds dangerous, that buddy. But, uh. Um, yeah, I, I don't think the back wheel came off. So stay tuned for us, because we're going to rent a limo and drive it to the junkyard. And buy a limo. And we're not going to buy a limo. <laughs> we are going to buy a limo. I don't think so. All right. Sometime later, we totally came home and did so many things. It was mind-blowing. You guys would be so surprised with the amount of productivity we had when we got home. What? Jen edited the video. Oh, yeah. I and Jackson, Jackson and I, beat Super Mario U Deluxe. Like, we did it. Now all we have to do is go back and find all the, the star coins to get on the other level. But we beat it, and that's what we did. Those are the two things that we did. But right now... We were so productive. Yeah, we were more productive than... Oh wait, hold on. Know. 
Let me see your mind. I like how, what do we, what do you, do you just like pause on a Cinnamon Toast Crunch commercial? I did. Okay, mm, okay. wait, and then I need to oh. add the gnocchi. What are you making? Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I like, I needed, to, this is a hard one. It was supposed to be fast. It was supposed to be fast, and I think it, it was fast. But, kind of, it was kind of fast. So this was a miso pumpkin ginger broccoli gnocchi. It says sesame gnocchi on the, well, I got the, the name the of sesame it. Sesame goes at the end. Whoa. Yeah, right? Oh gosh, did oh, I miss it? Oh brother. Yeah, sprinkle with pepper and sesame seeds. Okay, there you go. Sesame oh, yeah. gnocchi with broccoli and ginger pumpkin batter, butter. Mm. So it's supposed to look like this. Ours oh. doesn't... Those are huge pieces of broccoli. Well, told me to cut them into bite-sized pieces. That's not bite-sized. Whoa, and the baby. The baby's been trying to create his own language with Jackson <laughs> over here. Hey, hey. hey, how's it going? You. You having a good time? You guys are watching Bluey together? Yeah, Oliver doesn't really watch. He just kind of yells at Jackson to try to get Jackson's attention. And Jackson goes... See, they're high-fiving each other now. Yeah, look at this, I'm in the shadows. I'm in the shadows, the shadows. Right? Yeah, no shallows, but. No, I know, I, I know <laughs> that. Okay, so. It's pretty good. All right, let me just sprinkle it with some pepper and mm. some sesame seeds and we're in business. And we're, we're on top of the world. We're on top of the world. Eating. Gnocchi with sesame. Oh, gnocchi and broccoli. I think that works, right? Sesame. Sesame. Sesame doesn't have it has too many syllables, right? So the other thing too is that later I'm gonna give you guys a haul, a tour of all my books that I bought. Oh yeah. I got some cool books, and I want to see if you guys have read mm. them, if they're good, if you want to read them, and we can read them together. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of curious. Uh oh. Oh, also speaking of hauls, I want to show you guys this. I got these Hey Dude shoes. Oh yeah, they're very comfortable. Everybody was talking about them. <laughs> Jackson and Oliver talking so, to each other. Oliver, his first word, he said his first word, I don't think we ever told you guys, but he said uh-oh. Uh-oh uh -oh. was his first word. He'll drop stuff and go uh-oh. He says it like, he said mama and dada and stuff, but he said uh-oh like with intention. Yeah. Like he knows what uh-oh means and he says it when he drops things or if like, if food it's... drops or like, that kind of stuff like he knows it's very interesting because it's not a thing it's not like mama or dada or dada or mama it's like a, a risk like a reaction yeah and so his first word was a reaction so it's very interesting but, but watch um, this oliver who am i oliver who's dada oliver where's dada where's dada yeah that worked so we're about to go to bed and we're going to do a haul with all the books, but I just want to show you guys this one. But this is one of the books that we got for Jackson and for the baby. This says Bath Time, it's by Sandra Boyton. And this is Pookie, if you guys are not familiar. The, the pig, the little pig is named Pookie. Uh, and then at the end, it has that. The end, look at that little pig butt. Oh, but this is a book you can take into the bath with you. It's a completely waterproof book that floats. So, that's fun. It's a waterproof book, we're gonna take it in the bath with us. A few others that I'm taking upstairs right now, Gabby's Dollhouse Cupcake Tree, and Disney Junior Mickey Adventures in Dino Sitting. And then Jackson, and then Jackson also got this Pinkalicious book, which has five stories, a CD. A CD? Yeah, I don't know, what else, buddy? What else is there? We don't have a CD player. Right? Pink games, activities, and jokes. What do you think a pink joke is? All right, is everybody ready? Ready. You guys listening? Okay, me and all of we're ready. What's funnier than being tickled? This being joke. tickled pink? Being tickled pink. Ah, I, I must have heard that one before. This. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to our magical esophagus hour. <laughs> We've been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What's the acronym? What? Like, you know how, like, Roni? Oh, it's just R-H-O-B-H. That doesn't sound as good. No, I know. Yeah. So you just call it Real Housewives, Beverly yeah. Hills. <laughs> yeah. So I have a haircut tomorrow and or I don't know if I have a haircut. I think I maybe have like a bang trim and I'm getting my hair re-dyed. Why are they called bangs? I don't know. Like fringe, in the UK they call it a fringe and that makes more sense. I, 
Mm, I'm, I'm gonna look this up. Not we're not gonna talk about it at, right tonight, <laughs> but after we are done filming, I'm gonna figure out no, why we call them bangs. But we did have so when we went to the chocolate place earlier, I think it was called Way. Yeah. Way chocolate, yeah. So we got a piece of cake to go and we got some cookies to go, and they were both delicious. So if you're in Winter Garden and you're looking for and my coffee was delicious. Yeah. And the cake pop was so good. I just feel the like brownie if, was delicious. Yeah, if you're in Winter Garden and you're looking for like a sweets. I would check it out because they are right if next to the hot dog garden, place. What? If you're in Winter Garden and you demand sweets. <laughs> you should go there. Yeah. But they're right next to the hot dog place. So have some hot dogs, get some chocolate, go to the bookstore, which by the way, I want to give you guys a book haul. <laughs> I want to give you guys a book haul. So I went in and I said, I'd like some recommendations. I'm, I like like horror thriller books. Yeah. I told them what I was reading currently, which I'm still currently reading the Final Girl Support Group Club. And it was funny because as soon as you said that, they're like, oh, I was about to recommend that to you. Well, they were going to recommend that author. Oh, okay. So, um, so she recommended a bunch of books. And then the one book that I was like, oh, maybe I'll go back and get that one. That one was gone. So I didn't end up getting that one. But I want to show you. And I didn't really know anything about these books. She was just kind of like... This one is, is horror because of this. Um, and I didn't, I got like very small snippets and I was like, yeah, put them, put them in a pile and let's see what we got. It really was amazing to go in there and like the ladies that were working there at the, for the day that we were there. Yeah. Like knew the books. Yeah. I mean, it's a small bookstore. There were thousands of books in there. <laughs> there Even if it was a small bookstore. There were thousands of books. Well, she did go through all of the new books. Like, she didn't give me any old books. But she was like, here's what this one's about. Here's yeah. what this one's about. Here's what this one's about. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure they read a lot of books. They had, like, a board behind them that was like, here's what books we're currently reading. Oh, yeah. And it gave the name of the person that worked there and what books they were reading. Oh, I should have I should have looked. I didn't look at that. But let me show you what they recommended for me. So... They recommended Rachel Harrison, Black Sheep. And this one, sometimes I just like a cover will speak to me. And I was like, oh, this one's fun. Like I'll, I'll check this one out. So this is basically about like the black sheep of the family. But, and, and the other thing was that the, the main person in the book, her name is Vesper, right? Which kind of reminded me of like a Colleen Hoover book because they all have like silly names, but um, it's not a Colleen Hoover book, but so she basically was growing up in like a, a religious cult like community and then she was excommunicated I think from the community and then she has to go back for her cousin's wedding and something is afoot. Oh. Yeah, like she didn't think she would ever be invited back but she was and so it might be like a trap. Murder. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that one was interesting. It sounded interesting. They also recommended Burn the Negative by Josh Winning. And this one, if it's the one I'm thinking of. So a journalist was is arriving in LA to visit the set of a new streaming horror series. And she witnesses um, something like something happen. And she thinks like, here we go, it started. And it wasn't, she thinks it's like part of the streaming thing. And it was a, um, a remake of a 90s horror flick, a cursed 90s horror flick that she starred in as a child. Oh. Yeah, so she's been running from this her whole life, this like cursed horror movie that she starred in. And now she is going to visit the set of the streaming version, like the streaming remake of this thing that she's running from. Why would you do that? Why would you go? She's a reporter now. <laughs> yeah. Um, she was, it was, that's what her boss, you know, J. Jonah Jameson's like, I need pictures <laughs> of the 90s streaming remake of the movie you were in as a child that is cursed and also Spider-Man. So it says that Laura played the little girl with a terrifying gift of telling people how the needle man would kill them. So she was in a, in a movie called The Guest House in the 90s and she played a kid with like a, a horrifying gift. And so... Listen here. What? The name, The Needle Man? Yeah, that's pretty scary. Like, <laughs> but no. so... Um, but eight cast and crew members died in eerie ways. And so she's basically just trying to figure out, like, what's going on. The Exorcist. Yeah. So it's called Burn the Negative. Sorry, I know I just said that. The Exorcist was a cursed movie. I think there's a lot of cursed movies. Uh, yeah, but, like, The Exorcist really was cursed. 
That's true. So this one was called the best horror novel of the year by GQ, and it's called My Heart is a Chainsaw. And this is by Stephen Graham Jones. It's a New York Times bestselling author. I don't know if this is a bestselling book, but he's a bestselling author. <laughs> so this is about an, a hardcore 80s horror fan, Jade Daniels. So Jade lives in Idaho now, and they live near Indian Lake, which is home to both Camp Blood, which is where a massacre happened 50 years ago, but also home to Terra Nova, which is where like celebrities live, basically. And so... I don't know how many celebrities live in Idaho. I guess a lot. They I guess I'll find out in this book. But they, uh, it says the, they, it's the start of a slasher. Somebody's wearing a mask. Oh. Uh, Jade has to recall every horror movie so that, so that'll help her hopefully survive whatever's happening. So her extensive knowledge of like 80s horror movies will hopefully keep her alive. Oh. During whatever's going on. And so. possibly. Uh, potato references because of Idaho. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. So the other thing that I thought was interesting about this is that the author, they say the author has a distinct voice of sharp humor and prophetic violence. So it's going to be <laughs> like very gory, but funny. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. So see how that one goes. The next one is called what moves the dead by t kingfisher so this one when i was asked there were two girls that were helping me and when i was asking the one girl the other girl was like oh kingfisher give her kingfisher give her king so she was really like pushing this one but then the girl that was helping me said she's like i can't look at this one because i have a bunny and i guess maybe something happens to the bunny because there's a bunny on the cover i don't know i think so it says a gripping and atmospheric reimagining of edgar Allan poe's the fall of the house of usher oh so that's interesting because I recently watched The Fall of the House of Usher sort of on Netflix. I started, I didn't finish it. I started to watch it. Like it's a very, it's a super short book. This one's 150 pages. So that will be a, an easy read, I bet. But this was a USA Today bestseller. Oh. This one called The Only One Left by Riley Sager. This was another one that, um, they recommended, they said the first book, The House Across the Lake, I guess was like a, a bestseller as well. So it says this might be his best work yet. It's not only a deliciously gothic thrill ride featuring two of my favorite things, creepy houses and murderous ladies, but also ask big questions about grief, loss and the secrets we keep even from those closest to us. So that sounds interesting. Can I ask a question real quick? What? The New York Times bestseller, and that's a USA Today bestseller. Yeah. How are they, why wouldn't that be the same list? Why wouldn't a bestseller on USA Today be on the New York Times? Is it, do they sell differently in each newspaper? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's probably kind of like if you said, you're an Orlando Sentinel bestseller. That's yeah. different than like the Washington Post. No, I understand like it's a bigger newspaper, but like yeah. aren't the sales numbers the same across the board? I don't know. I literally have no clue. I don't, how it <laughs> I don't know how it works. How does it work? Um, so this one is about a family whose murder shocked the main coast one bloody night in 1929. And it was assumed that a 17 year old that 17 year old Lenora was responsible, but they were never able to prove it. So this is going to be about that. That, oh, it's now it's 1983 and the home health aid kit arrives at a decaying hope's end to care for Lenora. Oh, so this woman has to go care for the assumed murderer. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. Ooh. Yeah, the only one left. Okay. It said it was a Lizzie Borden style murder. Oh, did it? Yeah, open the thing up again. It was like in big red letters there. Where, oh, yeah. But it says here that Lenora was rendered mute because she had some strokes. And so she can only tap out sentences on an old typewriter. Ooh, that's creepy. Why not use a computer? Because <laughs> she's 1929. What? Is that when the book is set? No, it's set in 1983, but like... 1983, did they have computers in 1983? Yeah. For the, I mean, but like, did everybody have a computer in 1983? No, I guess they would be slightly expensive, but yeah. I feel like there's gotta be a better way. One night, Lenora offers her a tantalizing offer and says, I want to tell you everything. I might start with this one. But what's it What's it exchange for? Oh no. For the Krabby Patty recipe. <laughs> oh, Surprise, it, it's it, plankton. It becomes clear there's more to the story. So I might, cause I was gonna see, I was gonna see like which one I wanted to start with. I might start with this one. And then 
I like how Lenora is like a straight up, that's a horror name. Lenora? Yeah. I think it's, it's like, just like an old lady name. Well, no, I mean like the uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Lenore. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Tap, tap, tapping at my cellar door. So the last one I got is by Joe Nesbo. It is The Night, The Night House. Oh. The Night House. When New the, York Times bestselling author. It says, when the voices call, don't answer. And I guess this is about, uh, it's like a its like a haunted phone, basically. Oh, I've yeah. seen a movie about that. When he says the telephone booth out at the edge of the woods sucked Tom into the receiver like something out of a horror movie. Oh. No one believed him. In the wake of his parents' tragic death in a house fire, 14-year-old Richard has been sent to live with his aunt and uncle in the remote insular town of Ballantyne. Ballantyne? Uh, Richard quickly earns a reputation as an outcast, and when a classmate named Tom goes missing... Everyone suspects him as doing it. But when he tells everybody that he picked up the haunted phone and he was sucked into the receiver, they're like, yeah, right, you did it. So... What? <laughs> <laughs> this is a kid? Yeah. And they're like, first thing, you murdered him. Well, I mean, how would you believe it if somebody was like, if I got sucked into a haunted phone and you were the only one who saw it, do you think people would believe you? No. Right. <laughs> but I don't think they would accuse me of something more nefarious. They I don't know this like... guy. He's the new guy. They're like, this new guy murdered Tom. This might be my second one that I read just because it sounds weird. Yeah, the haunted phone. So, yeah. that's uh, Those are the books that I got. I think I'm going to start with The Only One Left. That one seems like the most interesting to me. Cover makes me feel, gives me Shutter Island vibes. Well, and also, so I don't like these sleeves i'm not oh, a fan. dust covers get yeah. out of here with dust covers i don't love them i take every book that i buy i take them off i just i don't like the way they look on the shelf and i don't like the way they feel in my hand i'd rather have like just the book so this is the book here it is no frills the only one left by riley sager so that's i'm gonna start with that one what did you get i got 50 hikes in central florida we're gonna go do some hiking after you read your horror books, I guess. <laughs> and we'll be sure to do it at night, maybe? No! Oh my gosh, I'd never, I would never. I just wouldn't do it. Just, we just wouldn't be there. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm too afraid. No, but these, these are um, places I've heard of, places I haven't heard of. They look... Let's, let's name one. Let's see. Let's... Just open to a random page and name, name a, a hike. The Spring Hammock Preserve. I feel like I've been there before. It sounds so familiar, right? Where is it at? It's a three-mile circuit of network trails in the uh, Cross Seminole Trail. Oh, yeah, we've been there. I think we have been here. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Longwood. That's yeah. so interesting. So wait, we're by the Environmental Studies Center. So when you go to school in Central Florida in the fifth grade, you go to this, you go on this thing called the Mud Walk, and that is where the Mud Walk is. It's at the Environmental Studies Center, yeah. and they tape trash bags to your shoes and you walk in like a lake and you catch crayfish and you look like, at things yeah you look at things like under a microscope and yeah. you it's actually very cool they're like wear your oldest clothes that you have you're get you're like covered in mud up to your basically like to your mid thigh it's so fun yeah so you lose your shoes well, no, that's why you tape the you tape the we trash bags. We didn't do that. Oh, we I did. We, we lost did. our shoes. <laughs> we, that's what happened is they like learned their lesson. Oh yeah. Because you're a year under me, so like. That's true. Yeah. They're like those last guys that came through lost all their shoes. <laughs> but yeah, so the bookstore was awesome. So we also went to the flip flop shop. Oh yeah, the flip flop shop. What did we get? And while we were there, got some shoes. I got the Hey Dudes. Well, it's so funny because it's such a dumb name. It is. Like, why I are wish they... they weren't called that. <laughs> why are they called that? But, um... But they're good shoes. Yeah, they're like, basically like enclosed Crocs. Yeah. Uh, a little bit softer than Crocs, too. But, but these are the water ones. Mm -hmm. So you can see that I have the holes in the bottom, holes on the side for drainage. So those are the ones that you can wear out to the beach or on the boat or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Jackson got little tiny versions of them. He's like, I want a pair. And we were yeah. like, okay. Yeah, these are nice. They are and nice. And he loves them. He does. And then we oh, also... we got him this. So we're going on a cruise soon, which is what prompted us to go into the flip-flop shop to begin with. But they also, at this place, sell the Chubbies brand. And so we got him, you know, they they are, those are like the shorts, basically. But we got him a little Chubbies matching outfit. So it's like, this is a, it's like water and flamingos with the matching shorts. So he's going to yeah. be like a little... 
a little cool guy. Wearing on the his cruise. Hey Dude shoes. <laughs> yeah. With this thing. And this is like like tech material, like stretchy. Yeah. Feels like Lily Pulitzer. I think it's he, funny. It does, right? And it kind of looks like it. So I think he's going to like love that. Yeah. And Tim got a cool shirt as well. This is from a, a, a company called uh, Last Local. And it says, good luck parking. Right there, because we got a lot of people that have been moving to Florida <laughs> and parking has gotten harder. So It's really soft too. Yeah. And it smells like the store. The store smelled like coconut. So yeah. it smells really good. But that brand was really funny because the girl in the store was wearing it and it was, um, <laughs> it was a hoodie and it said, um, thanks for not moving here. Yeah. It said, thanks for not moving here. Your state's awesome yeah. because everybody is moving to Florida. And it's like the, the front said like, you ain't local or something. You ain't local. Yeah. And I don't know. It was a, it, it's like a cute brand, you know? Yeah. And we also but bought, but also like a little bit like a, it's like tongue in cheek, tongue in cheek. Yeah. Low key. Uh, what's that called? Like passive aggressive. It is passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. As a Floridian, as a, like a native Floridian, it was just like a funny shirt. So right. then we also bought one of these, this sand cloud brand we bought. It's too big to show you the full thing, but it's one of those sand cloud, like, Blanket so towels. Turkish cotton towel. Yeah, and so basically the sand is like repels off of it. Yeah. But we're going to use this on Castaway Key. It's going to be so nice. we we'll it's, it's the large one. It's big enough for two people. Here, let me hold it up. Look at this thing. Got octopi on there. Like little tassels. Oh, yeah. Nice, right? Yeah, it's cool. So. I'm interested to try this Turkish cotton idea. Yeah, me too. Look at me. Oh yeah, I see you. I don't know. I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> I've always heard good things about Turkish cotton. Well, I've heard good stuff about these specific, this brand specifically. Yeah. It's not cheap, but everybody that I've talked to about it, they say that they're so glad they got it. It was really worth it. And especially with how much stuff we do outside, I would even use it like in the backyard. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be like the beach. Cause I don't know if you guys know this or not, but our dirt isn't actually dirt. It's sand. Yeah, it's true. So if you like dig in our backyard, you're digging in the sand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> but so, <laughs> so that was our trip to Winter Garden. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, I had so much fun. I mean, granted what prompted the trip was not like so fun. We had to go see a specialist for Jackson, but now we know that he needs to get the ear tubes and I feel a hundred percent better, like having an end to all of this, Yeah. you know? And then he, um, after talking to the doctor, after talking to the specialist, we know that it's a super quick procedure. Uh, it's like super routine. They do it all the time. It takes, you know, he's he's gonna be recovered in like a day. So. And they said he's in and out of surgery in 10 minutes. I think it's like 30 minutes. Well, yeah, for prep and stuff like that. But the yeah. actual surgery itself is like 10 minutes. Yeah, so, and after reading all of your comments, I know that it's something that's, you know, it's not like a dangerous thing. Everybody right. gets them, so. So yeah, but that brought us to Winter Garden and we got to go see Winter Garden, which we love. And I'm also, yes. like I said earlier, I'm gonna link the other video down below where we went before. Jackson was a lot younger, so it was a while ago, but we did different things on our last trip. We went to a lot more places that last trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was like, our day was at Winter Garden. We didn't have to go to the doctor beforehand. Yeah, we had, we, we went to like the food hall and we did some other stores and stuff. Uh, we went on the oldest elevator, so be sure to check that out. I'll link it down below. Elevator. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. If you have a chance to visit Winter Garden, you totally should. Yeah. So all in all, it was a great day. Oh, but what? wait. So Ooh. if you decide, because some people were asking me about the books I'm reading. So that's why I really, really wanted to show the books. If you decide that you would like to read the only one on the left, this one, it looks like this. This is what the cover looks like. If you decide that you want to read this, tell me in the comments because we like I'm gonna we can read it together. Oh. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. There you go. <laughs> all in all, it was a great day. It and really with was. That being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.